So next we have a uh, speaker as is Federica Salvatore. Now Federica is the managing director at Federica Salvatore Revenue and Commercial Consulting. Uh, Federica, how are you? Thank you so much for joining the IME Hotel Revenue Summit. Uh, I will give you the floor. Thank you and uh, yeah, uh, welcome everybody and good afternoon. I'm really happy to be here, honored to participate and also to, to talk about uh, this um, important topic. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, we, uh, yeah, I'll be talking about uh, revenue management in the post COVID era. And I think this is uh, uh, an important topic since uh, we saw many, many new trends uh, and, uh, and the question that uh, I have been, um, I've heard frequently when I speak with, uh, uh, with hoteliers uh, uh, is exactly um, if revenue management approach is still valid, if uh, there is something new or different that we can do and how to maximize revenue in this new scenario because everybody uh, saw uh, new, uh, yeah, new trends and new scenarios. So I uh, would like to go quickly through this new demand. So what happened and uh, what will we see? And uh, so uh, about the new scenario, uh, what we saw is mainly that uh, uh, there is a, a different segment mix uh, with the lack or the decrease on many segments uh, also, um, Jasper uh, told it before that we saw some segments like corporate or groups uh, pretty disappearing due to uh, restrictions, due to uh, also the, the demand. So, for example, for business and for corporate, we know that everything moved online. Uh, so what happened is that uh, leisure is king. What we have and all the tourism and the yeah, the tourism that we saw was mainly leisure. And I would like also to, to show some data on about the future to understand uh, if this trend uh, is still the same and or if it's uh, changing. So here, for example, uh, there are some data from STR where we can see uh, the trend of the next 90 days. So the next three months starting from beginning of September. And as you can see, there are those peaks that are always in correspondence of weekend. And these, uh, these data are from different countries, uh, European countries. So we have Italy, Spain, France, uh, Ireland, UK, and so on. And all of them show the same, uh, the same trend, pick up in the weekend. And this pretty shows that uh, uh, leisure is always uh, the, yeah, the king. So it's always the triggering uh, demand. And during the week, uh, uh, the demand is lower. Of course, all these data are aggregated data, and we know that uh, from destination to destination, this, this is pretty different. Another aspect that we saw is a very compressed booking window. So everything moved to the last minute, and, and indeed, this trend was higher in some kind of destination, like, for example, historical city, while Seaside or Mountain had a little bit more stretched. Uh, booking window. So here uh, we have an example um, taken from uh, data from Room Cloud, where we see that uh, um, if we go uh, go back to January 2021, um, the seven more than 75 percent of bookings were made in the last 50 minutes. Uh, sorry, 15 15 days. They were very very um, uh, compressed. And we are seeing that the trend is, in, is indeed decreasing. So August was, uh, was pretty lower, although we need to consider that since these are aggregated data, uh, there is a very high contribution of leisure destination like uh, seaside or mountains. Uh, and in fact, we are seeing in September, the trend a little bit increasing. Uh, just very quickly to make a comparison with 2019, when there was uh, the the real normal, you know, uh, we can see the red line is the uh, 2019 and the yellow line is the 2021. So the, the difference is huge. So the, um, yeah, the lead time is now very short. And uh, here from, with other data from Sojourn, this data shows that 60% of bookings are made in the last 15 days. And out of them, the 43, 43% uh, is in the last seven days. And, so next, next aspect is about the geographic contribution. Uh, we, we and all hoteliers were used to um, a mix of, uh, of geographic 
uh, contribution and uh, during the pandemic and post pandemic that is totally different so uh, we saw of course the the um, phenomenon of uh, to, uh, domestic tourism so uh, since uh, we were not allowed to travel or the um, or the people inhabitant of a country and this happened all over the world so just traveled within the country and this is something of course different that really characterized the new demand so we also we also saw uh, the phenomenon of vacation um, and uh, here to see some data of what's happening if we go back to december 2020 we can see mm, these are data for uh, for the city of rome that the main country was italy so the main uh, most of bookings came from italy it was more than 30 percent united states followed because it was already uh, a little bit um, later than the beginning of uh, the pandemic, and also because these data are for the next six months. So uh, from American people also booked, and, but the contribution is not, uh, is not be, uh, really high. Just consider that a historical city like Rome has generally a really high contribution from the United States. If we compare with September 2021, so this month, uh, we see that uh, uh, the, um, uh, the contribution is totally different. So the United States moved to the, to the first ranking with uh, 40% uh, uh, and Italy decreased. Now, another aspect is a very, very fast change in demand, um, mainly because uh, there were differences and um, in restrictions and uh, uh, this really affect the demand. When there were new restrictions or new news, uh, the demand changed. And also because since everything is compressed in the, and it's on the last minute, uh, um, in that time, everything happens. So this means that you have to be very, very fast in uh, um, uh, very fast in, in monitoring and in interviewing. And what is really, really suggest, I will say it later, but just want to, to say already now, is to monitor um, on a hourly basis. So you need to stay there, uh, most of all in the last minute to see what happens and to intervene to make your changes in uh, um, inventory and, uh, and prices. And uh, we go. Okay. Okay. So another aspect is the uncertainty and the resist. Uh, this is, let's say, uncertainty that there is all over the world just made uh, um, non refundable rates uh, not really uh, effective, you know. So there is a resistance and everything moved to flexible. This is another aspect that we were not used to. And just remember, as I said, that all these patterns and new patterns vary from destination to destination. So it is very important to study the market and the destination. So since the trends are different and they are also segment by segment, uh, the real question is, should we still rely on historical data in order to predict the future demand and total performance? Because before we know that everything was really um, yeah, based on historical data. But I, th I think that we really need a new approach here. And this does not mean that historical data should be forgot or should be just left it out, but that we should read the historical data in the right way and then look at the forward data. So we go uh, to that. For the historical data, what is really, really interesting now, since everything is moving so fast and is changing, is to see the real recent past data. So since, um, yeah, while before we were comparing year over year, now it is better and more effective to compare day, uh, day um, over day, week over week, month over month. So in October, it's very good to compare it, October with September, a day a week with the other day, um, yeah, a week with the other and a day with another one. And I said, uh, this is for the past, but then we have to look at the future. So forward looking data, what to see? You need to, to really monitor and study your future on the book, the, what you have on the book, the pace, the pickup, how much is entering with which pace. So how I, am I performing? And studied it also with some patterns, future patterns about the week and the day, and of course, 
don't remember and don't, don't forget that the breakdown of all this data must be by segment and by country. So you need to go granular uh, from yeah, the, the, the macro to the, to the micro. What about the market? The market has in a way the same approach. You need to uh, see the past data and the forward looking data. So here, when you compare your performance, you should compare also the market performance and to see how they performed day uh, over day, week over week, month over month, and to see if you lo uh, lose a uh, lost opportunity on if, or if you exploit it. But also very important in order to intervene is to see the future data. How is the market for, uh, for the future? How, how is the pickup? Uh, why is the market, uh, has the market a fast pickup and I don't have? These are the real question to, uh, to, um, yeah, to, to ask. And uh, um, of course, what uh, um, can help us is to analyze and monitor the demand, how? By looking at the flight and hotel research, because they really gives an idea of the demand, where is addressing the demand. If they are searching, if they are looking for a flight and hotel, they will then book it. So uh, if, you, if you have this data also by countries, you can understand which will be your contribution. And maybe you can also take some actions that, that are not only in revenue management, but also in the marketing field. So just study and uh, study the new consumer behavior and study your competition. We cannot go now deep in that because we don't have an, a lot of time, but these are the main points. So the real goal is to study and understand the new demand in order to apply the right strategy. And as I said, these are all the, the aspects to, uh, to monitor. So try to gather most data you can from all the sources, uh, the sources you can use because without data, you cannot navigate. Very quickly, just a quick insight of the tools that you can, that you should use, uh, benchmarking tools. And here there are um, some in the, in the slide. The BI is very important because you need to study your data, market data, uh, the pickup and the on the book, uh, all the details. Rate Shopper with Market Insight is also useful. Market intelligence tools are useful as well. Now, uh, another tip uh, is to, uh, yeah, uh, to create, uh, since we talk about the non-refundable rate, that, that they are not appealing anymore. So what to do? Uh, we don't have to stay stuck with uh, uh, one day cancellation, you know? So we can create different levels of flexibility. And this uh, can help also to slowly go back to also to a non-refundable uh, plan that is accepted. Always remember that uh, destination by destination, the, the things are different. So for this point, for this aspect, it's very important to analyze the, the consumer needs and of your target, of your city, or of your destination. Uh, as said, monitoring change pricing and inventory management on a hourly basis, because this will help you to maximize revenue. Other tips. Uh, Review your channel mix for a healthy distribution mix. Why? Because the, um, the channel, um, you, sh you should understand uh, what is behind every channel. Every behind every channel, there are different targets, different countries contributing. So according to the demand, you can push a channel instead of another one. And always try to do it with an eye on the profitability because profit is very important. And some channels are more profitable than others. So try to push them when there is a high demand. Also understand what guests are looking for and create package and offer with the goal of giving an experience. So here I'm not talking about the traditional room and transfer, but really try to do something tailor-made according to the needs of, uh, uh, of the customers. Go beyond room revenue and try to use and exploit every asset, every space of the hotel in a creative selling. So push up sell and can sell. And very important because sometimes uh, some hotels just give, off, um, give services only for the in-house guests, but open to the local demand, to the local market because they have Needs and we saw that um, that for example with staycation they in any case um, yeah let's say gave 
a very good contribution. And there are so many needs of the local market that you could ex exploit, and it, this could become a source of revenue. So I think that the time is gone. And uh, yeah, I really thank you. I uh, hope this, uh, this was helpful. Uh, and uh, of course, I'm, I'm here for, um, for everything that you need. Awesome. Thank you very much, Federica, for uh, that lovely presentation. I do have some questions for you before you go. Uh, I'll start with an audience question here. Uh, Rodrigo from uh, Rio de Janeiro says that this is uh, happening uh, in Rio de Janeiro of this new mm -hmm. demand. Yes, uh, even after the pandemic, um, when things go back to normal, do you believe that this new demand that was created due to this period will remain or a new segment will will enter into uh, uh, what we see with revenue management? Well, that's a very interesting question because I think everybody's thinking we will be back. And yeah, we will be back, but I am sure there will be a mix. I think that uh, many things happened during this pandemic and uh, also hoteliers have been in a way enriched. Uh, so for example, the, the way of using the spaces in a creative way is something that we should keep because you can optimize the revenue, not only of rooms. Uh, so what I see is that of course, there is a, there is a trend to, to come back to those performance, uh, but some phenomenon will stay. So for example, uh, in, in, the, in the past, we always looked at historical data, but revenue management is not only that. It has always been looking at uh, forward data as well. So we have to keep it in mind and keep this approach because uh, even though we will, be, we will have regular trends, you know, but we always need to, uh, to study the market because I think that um, needs, new needs are, in, are always um, coming out. And, uh, and it will, it's, it's not boring, our, our job, you know? So to, to reply, I think that we, we will come back, but there will be something of the new approach and new, um, new demand that will stay. 